segue. <laughs> All right, so I'm Tom Cat, and this here is Ryan Skaggs, who is a California, Los Angeles native who has been in the arts mind expansion of consciousness in general. And uh, Ryan, you've done like you've done a lot of things from music, writing, painting to uh, living a pretty reckless uh, youth. <laughs> Why, that's <laughs> correct there, Tom. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm a visual artist. I'm a painter. Um, I'm an author. Um, I'm a musician, obviously, which is why I'm here talking to you all about uh, this tour. Um, basically, the work I've been doing uh, right now, I've been kind of tying in, um, you know, a bunch of like really different things that I've been thinking about and that are uh, pretty relevant um, to these questions people have. It's like, well, why are the people who uh, run society, why, why, how do they uh, end up in that position of power and how do the rest of us, how do we uh, basically stay uh, in the kind of um, the poverty or, you know, the lack of power? Yeah, why we're so like, trapped under no matter how hard we seem to fight or work. You have people breaking their backs or like... Exactly, so... Why them, why do they get to basically rule the world, and why don't we? And um, that's a very difficult question. I mean, obviously, you know, some of these people might get lucky sometimes. Um, but I feel personally that the majority of them um, have been kind of uh, born into this. Oh, definitely. You have, like, what, what is, there's, like, the top four or five families like the Rockefellers, the Vindenbergs and that have been like basically in control of this planet or Western culture for the past what like hundred years. So basically it's like what does it take for an individual to be born into one of these families and then why do we get born into uh, the families that we are born into and um, a lot of that basically uh, to begin with happens to have a lot to do with uh, karma yep as you know um we're, we're trapped in uh basically on this planet in like, these kind of cycles uh, some people call it uh samsara or whatever um but it's the concept that you know people are born people live people die and, it, and it's just happening all the time everywhere and it's the same shit over and over and over and over yeah. and over and over and over again you come back repeat exactly, it yeah. until you learn your lesson so, um, and, and so, so, uh, I mean, I would have to agree, agree to like, it's like, uh, people who did something right in their lives to end up in a position of fine financial standing or power, but then, uh, them abusing that, wouldn't that, uh, lead them to be reborn into something, into poverty if they abuse their, uh, their blessing of wealth? Well, basically, um, traditionally things have been broken down into uh, four castes or uh, four classes. And we have the Brahmins, um, they're the intellectuals and the priests. Um, then we have the warriors and uh, the administrators. These would be like people in the military, um, politicians, um, CEOs, you might say, could be, uh, you know, people in big business might be in this class also. Of uh, military? Yeah, warriors and administrators. You might put them in that class, or they, they could conceivably also be put in the farmer uh, merchant class, which is uh, the third caste. And then um, the rest of us end up in uh, the caste of sudras, or uh, manual laborers, or like, you know, basically doing bullshit jobs uh, for bullshit pay and um, getting in debt, uh, having to take out loans, having to pay credit card bills. And so we're really born into these classes and, and you know, sometimes people do make it out of it, um, but that's more of the exception than the rule. Yeah, it's, it's, it's orchestrated in a way where I heard somebody talking about how, well, essentially like capitalism going back to like, I guess not going back, but how it's like pulls, it's just constantly pulling away at like all the, the money. It's not, it's not creating more, it's just pulling it all from it's kind of just yeah us. like we get enough shot down here to kind of keep the whole system like lubricated and kind of get shot back up 
spit back down and shot back up. But, you know, the general trend is it just keeps rising and rising and rising to the people at the top of the pyramid. And um, the rest of us are basically get what we need to uh, survive, survive and keep working. How do you uh, how do you perceive uh, the best way to, to break these, break this uh, entrapment? Well, that's a good question. In order to really... Uh, look at ways uh to break this entrapment uh we kind of have to look at you know what the people at the top have um that we don't have um obviously you know people have been uh born into these conditions but being able to be born into this condition means that um they have certain advantages that uh you know we never have education education is one of them i mean um Obviously, it's like, well, what's the difference between, like, an Ivy League school and, say, a state university or, you know, trade school or whatever? And basically, when these people are educated, um, well, first off, when we're being educated, we're just being taught. Yeah, skills. memorize mean, this or, like, yeah, this is how you're going to be a slave. Yeah, this is how what you're going to need to learn to get a job. And um, when these people are getting educated... It's more about how do we groom this person to be in the position of power that they're going to get in uh, when they graduate here. And uh, Interesting. Obviously, a lot of these people come from um, powerful families. Uh, Ivy League schools don't just take anybody. Not Most people can't afford an Ivy League education. And so that off the bat uh, really limits, um, you know, who can get into uh, this class of people. It, it, uh, if you're not born into it, um, you might have to take out a bunch of loans. Uh, you might have to take out a bunch of debt. Further entrapment. Further in entrapment, exactly. And, and even if you do get in, you'll never truly belong. Yeah, uh, you'll never truly belong with uh, the people you're going to school with. Um, you could try to make yourself uh, look like you belong to that social class, but deep down inside, um, you're a mudblood, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, they, they, these institutions, you know, they've been they've been used to uh, maintain uh, social order in um, a lot of respects. And so, um, obviously, that's one thing that they have that we don't have. But what can we do about that? Yo, that shit's I mean, fucked up, dog. We weren't born into that. Uh, we don't really have those opportunities. So, educate ourselves or just don't contribute to, uh, well, where you, it kind of. because we all have to survive. We all, we all need to, like, you know, have our resources of food, shelter, and water. Yeah, I mean... Well, the Ivy League is is one thing that they have that we don't that, that we don't have. Well, well, what else, what what else do they have that we don't have? Um, Money to buy anything, property, land, health, food, good food. Well, one of the, the things cure to cancer that they really have is uh, knowledge, and it's uh, knowledge that's been um, passed down. For uh, hundreds, thousands, thousands of years, basically. Um, and uh, a lot of it has been uh, kept secret in um, order to maintain social order. So one of the things that they have that um, we don't have is uh, this esoteric knowledge that's uh, basically uh, been passed down from the times of the ancients. And... Um, still applies today um, that we don't. And so one of the things that I've been really trying to work on is like, A, how do I empower myself? And then yeah. through empowering it's myself, it's like, well, how do I empower like everybody else? How do I get this word out that, you know, you don't have to be uh, stuck in the conditions of your birth. You don't have to be, you know, um, stuck in this caste system. It's like just sharing that knowledge that you know, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. So, um, one of the things that they talk about in um, this esoteric knowledge is uh, the origin of species. Um, oh, here's where it's going to get interesting. <laughs> yeah. Go to the mushroom. Well, 
um, one of the things that's always been complicated about um, you know Darwin Darwinian evolution is um, it, it it's still uh, you know been very difficult to uh, determine you know the last um, link. The last link, yeah, exactly. Or like, why do all of a sudden these rapid periods of evolution happen and then nothing happens for a long time? And um, basically, how did we evolve from being apes to, uh, you know, having reason? Human, and, yeah. And um, worrying about the way we look. Yeah, so basically, what they've realized is uh, aliens had a big role in a lot of this. And that... Um, do you believe that humans were made to be slaves originally? Well, basically what happened is that aliens uh, separated uh, the different um, types of man into uh, different corners of the earth. And um, basically... Uh, different races? Yeah, different races, uh, different roles, different civilizations, and... Um, Basically, yeah, I, I mean, I do feel like we did have some subservient roles to them, but also I think uh, what has happened was that we ended up uh, benefiting them in a lot of ways. Like, like it wasn't just like a one-way street. It was like we gave to them, but they also, you know, in turn gave to us. So it was kind of like a give-and-take type thing. What, what were those uh, give-and-take things that uh, they gained from us or that we gained from them? Well, basically... Um, you you would ask yourself the question, so, like, why would they travel all the way over here? Uh, why would they travel, you know, all these light years and um, well, to I, hang out with us? Well, I've heard, I've heard two... Our monkey asses. I've, I've heard that they, they were looking for... Uh, I heard one thing, they were looking for gold or precious metals, and then I heard the other thing was that Earth is, like, a, a realm or a planet where it's, like, uh, all kinds of different aliens or species were coming here to like create or like manifest things on a new wave and then there became like all this competition over uh existence or uh how we perceive the so universe from my understanding i mean there's obviously we're talking about different kinds of aliens uh visiting the planet at the same time but yeah from what i understand is that uh the species that played a big role in our evolution needed us for, uh, and still need us for uh, our DNA. Yeah, I've heard that mostly with the greys. Um, I'm going to pause real quick so I can check.